Okay, so pretty much the first thing you want to do is play around with your circuit board a bit and the flashing and just look at it and usually I see like this shorter edge here is probably going to be the side where the panel goes on and the longer edge is usually going to be the circuit board so don't mount your circuit board right flush up against there I mean you can but you're probably going to have like a potentiometer or something here and then um, you know it's going to be really tough wiring that up maybe impossible so in this case I actually I actually use as much space as possible, but because this is Euro rack and you know, a lot of people have shallow cases, you might want to measure it out and like, you know, make it as small as possible. But for this one, I don't like wiring really cramped, so me personally, I'm going to make it pretty deep because my case is deep. So up next, it's really easy. You just kind of sit your board there and go, okay, yeah, I want to be this wide. So if you use a ruler it's pretty much square already. So you got that mark and then line it up. Do the same thing here. And cut through that really doesn't have to be perfect. You can always fix little bits up later. And I mean, it's a mounting bracket, right? It doesn't really have to look perfect. Okay, so you might want to wear gloves during this, but I'm an idiot and I don't, so. <laughs> yeah, like uh, the edge here can cut you really easily. I've learned that the hard way a few times. All right, so got that done. Now decide on where you actually want it to be. Trim the excess off there. Like I, I'm doing this very quickly because the, these steps are kind of obvious. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But this is just something that you're gonna intuitively pick up over time. It's a pretty quick process. Okay, so now that that's there, the next step would be to actually mark out the holes for the circuit board. This is real easy. You just hold the board nice and tight against here. And you can see there's some marks. So, then the next step is you want to make sure that uh, this can mount up to the panel. And so this is how you get like a really nice looking uh, panel mounted setup uh, without having any screws sticking out the front or anything ugly like that. So I really like this method for mounting face plates up to the front panel. So at this point, it's pretty much just eyeballing it. You want to leave some room here for your screws on the back so that they're not jutting too far out with the module. And you want to look at where your screw holes are and just make sure that you're leaving enough room for like the potentiometers to be behind here because they're a little bit larger than the holes, obviously. So you just kind of eyeball it. You can use a ruler if you want. In this case, the ruler width works out perfectly. And once again, got your sheet metal. See how that's looking? So that's looking pretty decent. Maybe I'm gonna trim just a little bit more off. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, the only thing I can see being a problem is the jacks down here. Uh, if you had a longer piece of metal, obviously you could just include the jack holes. But in this case, I'm actually just going to cut a little bit in there so that the, it doesn't interfere with the jacks at all. So you're going to have to make some quick decisions. And 
again, you should probably be wearing safety glasses too. This could have flown off and hit my eye. I was holding it there, but... So next up, I like to take a little nibble off each of the corners to get rid of those sharp edges. This is going to make it a lot easier when you file or sand down, sand down the edges of this sharp sheet metal. It'll make it easier to round it. You'll have to take less material off. So we're almost there. The uh, next step in making the pattern, if you will here, is to uh, hold it up against the panel. And I mean, look at it here and try and line it up. You know, think about your mounting rails up here. Uh, with your rack, it's quite, they're quite slim, so it's not too big of a deal. But with other modular formats, like my, my .NET 4U panels, the mounting rail is about that big. So if this were a .NET panel, I wouldn't be mounting this any higher than that. It would have to be all the way down here. But since it's Euro rack, we can go about there. Um, so yeah, find the opportune place here to place it. And this is kind of a tricky maneuver, but just hold it as tightly and as straight as you can. Flip it over and quickly draw. Quickly draw your mounts there. This sharpie is dying. Quickly draw your drill holes there. So, yeah, hanging on to it. Two, three, four. Perfect. So now you can see we have these marks here. So that's great. We've got a pattern made now. The next step, uh, I actually bend this out a bit. This is so we can drill it, because uh, obviously you can't drill at a right angle. And next up, you grab yourself a scratch hole. Use one of these. And a hammer. And just mark each of the drill holes. This helps the bit travel straight. And then you take it to your drill press and drill it. I'm not going to show you how to do that because you should know how to use a drill press. Um, and it's no different than drilling any other material. Be careful not to cut yourself. Don't let it get hooked in the machine, obviously. And then when you're done, bend it back. So I'm going to go and drill this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from the drill press here, and as you can see, I've drilled up the panel mounting bracket. So, it's not perfect. I recommend filing down the edges so that it's not too sharp with a metal file, or sandpaper if you can't find a metal file. So if you're still a little foggy on how this works, this is how it's going to work. You mount the panel bracket behind the panel like this, and then when you install all of your panel components, like this potentiometer, you actually wind up mounting up the panel bracket in such a way that you get a fairly sturdy place to mount your circuit board and then so once you've installed all four of these I'd go about soldering in some flying wires to my circuit board so they're all coming out and ready to solder to panel components and then you just install your circuit board and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you put a module together with flying wires off the circuit board. I use these little standoffs and machine screws. Um, if you can't find these standoffs, you can actually buy a big coil of rubber hose or vinyl hose from Home Depot or any other hardware store. And you can cut off little sections of it with a pair of pliers. And that works great as standoffs too. I used that before I bought a big bag of these. so. That's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully that explains everything and uh, have fun building.